How Bob the Builder went from a billionaire to bankrupt. Or Sarah Ferguson diagnosed with a second type of cancer. Um, I'll try to be as short as possible. I'm going to use this as MK Ultra Proof. This is why I'm recording. I don't want to waste my precious time on garbage. Um, in 2016, it was a daughter. Beatrice. Duchess of York diagnosed with aggressive form of skin cancer. Well, look at this stuff earlier. I was sure already that she is now also diagnosed next to her mother with a skin cancer. But this is just not the way it is. In 2016, all through the news is picture with her daughter. There is no sight of her daughter on this page here. No such thing. Uh, what is this here? Major Ronald Ferguson, Duchess father, father, had diagnosed with skin cancer just months before his death in March 2003. Had planned to go chemotherapy. He also had a prostate cancer. So he died of a heart attack. I would not read this stuff. Uh, but this whole page, not the whole page, no, 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 I'm not going to say the whole page here. Let me see this here. This is from Yahoo UK. Sarah Ferguson diagnosed with a second type of cancer. This was used as a brainwash in front of the computer. How Bob the Builder went from a billionaire to bankrupt. That's right underneath. That was involved in it. That was used as a brainwash. I never care about sports. Don't know, don't recall nothing about this tornado. Stacy Salomon. Don't know anything about that man. One found that. Didn't pay attention to that. Didn't pay attention to this. Didn't pay attention to any of that. They connected the news. How not? Duchess of York diagnosed with aggressive form of cancer with the news you see on top. Daughter, basically, that you see with the mother. And I'm going to say to you like this, that Sarah Ferguson had uh, been diagnosed with a melanoma cancer. That's basically with a skin cancer back in 2016, exactly 2016 was when her daughter, Beatrice, uh, would run to, uh, sort of ran to me, panically. When they delivered me, when they hijacked me to now, when they hijacked me to Britain in 2016, uh, the first thing on one opportunity would happen is her daughter, Beatrice, would run to me. She would be completely out of her mind, scared, and would tell me that her mother is being diagnosed with a skin cancer, melanoma. Um, 
The thing is, I didn't know anything about the skin cancer. I had no fucking idea about the skin cancer. To me, the skin cancer, melanoma cancer in 2016 was like a non-existing issue, basically like something like you would... Uh, I never thought it, thought of it. I never thought about it. Never ever thought about it. Till 2016, I never thought about... Even after 2016, I didn't give a shit about. I just, uh, I never cared about no, no fucking cancer, really. Or whatever issue that might be. Health-wise related. I absolutely cared about no, no issue. The least I would ever care, if anybody would tell me, would be like a skin cancer. That was the stuff I didn't care at all. Um... I don't know, maybe I gave her an impression that I don't care about her mom. All through I clearly core I did care about mom. I did express concerns. She accused me of being insensitive. Uh, and uh, soon after, even that others have tried to calm her down, proceeded to death threaten me with a skin cancer um, with her mom the two concluded in 2017 that I too will get a skin cancer um, Princess Beatrice in 2017 started to claim me she alone will have to undergo surgeries related to the skin cancer because she had a spots that out of which it's melanoma that develops uh, and what can i tell you in 2018 they started to rehearse what you see on here Sarah Ferguson diagnosed with a second type of cancer. You see that picture right there with a B behind her? Yeah, it started with this here, right? How Bob the Builder went from billionaire to bankrupt. Yeah, this was the news that was part of this pre recorded garbage they brainwashed me with in front of the laptop after the torture. They would do this. Um, it says here that um, this picture has been taken in 2019 and it's what uh, Sarah Ferguson expected. Also, she stated to me. It's also what she stated to me that she will fuck me. Because I will say that I was taken from Poland on her presentation, whatever public appearance fundraising gala event when in fact that would not be the case she also mentioned to me this so I know especially because she started to rehearse time on several occasions on quite a few occasions this gala event with exactly this picture, they had some kind of picture. Even when this picture, whatever it is, whatever this shit is, I have no idea. Uh, but they had a picture like this. They would deliver the picture that she would tell the people at other... I think this is... What is this shit here? Probably is even repeating this, this uh, charity, whatever, fundraising organization uh, events. Whatever, whatever, whatever events, she would have people deliver the picture behind her, and she would point me out the picture. Uh, but she rehearsed for this event. She rehearsed for this event in 2000, beginning in 2018, and had me on event on at least like two occasions. She had me. 
on rehearsal of coming event. So she definitely wanted me to acknowledge the issue and would even suggest me in front of a computer after her work was done for me to pay attention to this B that you see right there. Bob, Bobby, Bustian. I went under Bob. Bob was my name, Bobby, in the U.S. Uh, and this here is what it's supposed to remind me of her skin cancer dilemma for which Prince Andrew claimed me, amongst others, that it would be the beginning of disappearance of the two from the stage if I would criticize. And he pressured her over and over again for me to keep silent all about their part of genocide against me. Or it would be otherwise and the two would have to disappear from the stage and then I would have nobody anymore that could testify for me, etc., 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 that they are on my side and so on and so forth. So this is basically, this is what this is. Then it would start with the Sarah Ferguson and then it would go down into her husband, Andrew Windsor, and the two would be off the picture, basically. And if I would talk, it would be British government that would have them removed from the stage. So one thing, this is not when I was hijacked from Poland, most likely. Whenever it is that this took place, I'm not going to bother to take time, date. Um, this here, this paragraph here, I do recognize one. The paragraph I demonstrated the earlier that I highlighted. They did have me go over this stuff here and demanded from me to acknowledge that I'm going to have, I don't know how many issues I'm going to be suffering from and that's basically how I'm going to die with one of the issues also, skin cancer. Yeah, they promised me they, I'm going to rotten also with a skin cancer. That is going to be a skin cancer, also one of the issues. So. Not uh, your uh, average nice lady, I would say. I don't think she is quite normal in her head. I think she is definitely mentally ill person. Usually when society is mentally ill, it always starts at the top. Posing on this photo here, just like all other cuckoos involved in so-called MKUltra case did prior to her with a big smile. Yeah, this picture is supposed to significate to me that she will be thinking of me and so on, etc., etc. Behind these smiles, though, especially when I called Beatrice, they were a full pants of shit, fear, scared, panicked. I'm never going to forget that. All through, very soon, you might even see her appearing somewhere in media how she had also skin cancer and so on and so forth come on man you know what these people do 24 7 they medically examine themselves every fucking week i think that's all they do is basically they visit hospitals and check themselves up they that's all they do so i find it kind of bizarre 
really really bizarre when she had a full pants of it with her daughter other cuckoos that post in the media exactly the way she does right there with this big smile like invincible like you know like wow look at me you know me i and they're gone and so on and this and that what uh, what uh, what uh, struck me the most at the beginning of this video when i started to record is disgust i could not possibly express for the people that flash i, I actually when recording this stuff i can't even see her it's disgusting It's not even about posing in front of the camera with a fake smile, you know, with something you're not, in a sense of, you know, depicting yourself like you are, you know, that you have some kind of character, that, that you have something, that you are something. It's not even about this, man. You know what it's all about? It's about the mental illness these people carry on. It's about, I don't know how I would feel about myself going out there, posing in front of the cameras, if I would try, try to awake somebody's memories and something I have done to one, uh, demanding from one to love me, to adore me, to adhere to me, see me in a positive way, preserve me, save me. That's how they want it from me. Be silent about it and basically fucking wishing me stuff that the best described is in that article that I demonstrated to you where her daughter is depicted, titled as a Duchess of York, therefore her mother Beatrice's mother suffering from skin cancer issues. Like Major Ronald Ferguson, the Duchess father had been diagnosed with skin cancer just a month before his death in March 2003 and so on. Blah, 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 blah. You know, there's one thing we do share here in this case. There's the one thing I really do share. And if I do have a skin cancer, it's not the thing that I feel I share with these people. I don't think I could possibly share absolutely anything. I could see myself in a, something like this, disgusting, no. There's one thing, however, I do share with these people. We do share about one thing. We share the memory, basically, on our... wishes you know wishing me wishing me basically thinking of me wishing me to have a skin cancer if somehow i don't have one i have no idea like i said at the beginning of this video the last thing i would worry about in 2016 would be a skin cancer the thing is even today Worrying about anything doesn't solve any of my issues. So I really cannot afford myself to worry about anything. Because it's not going to solve me any issues. I don't have the luxury these people have. So there's one thing, however, we do share. With, it's common to one another. And that's basically the thought on cancer. The wish, you know, the way they wish me to drop that from multiple issues they worked on, paid Slovenian police officers to bat me 
for no less than 12 years frequently with a soap bars that were actually detergents, solid detergents. Soap bar detergent only made for the white fabric because if you would wash, use one with a colored fabric, you would wash away paint from the fabric. That's the type of detergent Slovenian police was using during MK Ultra to wash me with, and then the way they washed me was in a such a way so that it would stay on my skin and stink, stink so fucking horribly that would make me literally puke and eat my skin when I would go and meet these people at Bled. They would come at Bled, they would gather at Bled. I remember George Bush. I remember these people in Bled. They would meet one another and they would distribute me around with this smell, with this fucking terrible stuff, without even rinsing the fucking soap from my body, which was actually detergent, dude. Fucking detergent for washing the clothing. They proceeded in Croatia or Montenegro, I'm not sure. And was started to play Thailand, I don't know. United States of America, wherever they would roast me. They would roast me like a swine on a on a you you put on a on a fire, basically. Sun burn me, basically, during MKO. It was sun burn me during MKO. Literally sun burn me. And I had no idea what they were doing on the beach, what they were using, but it was as painful as fuck on my back. What if not? Maybe. I had no idea, but what do you do to the person like this on a hot that is already so hot that it's dangerous hot out there, and you do the stuff like this to the person? What the fuck is this? What do you do this if not the skin cancer? So I survived, thanks to God, I am alive, I'm giving you this account, and honestly, I don't believe that this sentence here applies to me in absolutely any way, because it makes people that wish me this, this cuckoos. And it's what makes us common, basically. The wish. Wishing me. You know, wishing me. Slow, painful death. Suffering with a lot of suffering. For what I will say to Sarah Ferguson is, Lady, you look much better on this picture here. You look much better in this picture here, this one here. This one is more realistic. I was going to say... I wish you a good health, and I was going to calf on that, because this is about the mental issues that you suffer from. But fuck this, I'm going to spare myself of this. I uh, so much hatred, so much hatred. I have not a counter, I swear, in any country, in any body. No, oh, they were using other people. They were paying other people to do the job for them. But uh, this shit is sickening. Just to record this video, just to to consider this. A uh, Bob Builder, how it went from billionaire to bankrupt. They translated this just as I 
suggested you. That's what they demanded from me to see myself in it. Where the hell is that thing? Uh huh. One is here on the top. How Bob the Builder went from billionaire to bankrupt. And then another one is it's repeated so that I would definitely not miss one. That would be me. You know, the builder, uh, you could be a billionaire, but you will not be billionaire and this and that, you know. Uh, my God, you're fucking sick. I would... Um, I would love to, to thank you for your work, for your sacrifice, for your thoughts, you know, that you dedicated yourself to me. Now, I fucking feel sorry for you in every sense. You're so pathetic that... <laughs> pathetic. Actually, I had a picture I take. I thank my lucky star I didn't come across something like this, man. Seriously. Uh, whatever the woman might be or not, I'll be better off. Than having to share absolutely anything with, with the people like this. This is disgusting. Uh, I wish your daughter... Princess Beatrice, foremost. Uh, good luck with the mental health issues she suffers from, too. I don't know. Next to melanoma cancer, I think there is something else that, that runs in the family deeply. She needs more mental health issues set uh, than any other issues. And uh, you know, thanks for sharing with me your uh, what you probably already have done your uh, skin cancer concerns. We'll probably see you sometimes on a picture. Uh, also with a big smile. Are we gonna see some picture? Let me let me let me find a picture. Well, quite a few pictures like this that you could use in your article, which you're going to post and it's going to be written how you have managed to overcome your cancer too. So, yeah. Um, the Duchess of uh, York already managed to overcome melanoma cancer issues in 2017 just so you know in 2016 they started with the surgeries 2016 and was over with sometimes in 2017 i don't i am empty i don't know what the fuck i would say you're you guys are fucking mentally ill I feel sorry for myself. I wish I could dedicate you any any kind of thought, anything. You're fucking empty, mentally ill people. And uh, yeah, it's such your waste. I feel sorry for the people of Britain, actually, to be part of your... Uh, or part of their legacy that have chosen to share. Fuck this, not with me, not with the rest of the world. Britain never again. That much about the cancer issues. It would be interesting to see the health files, medical files, but then again, 
I wouldn't bother with that. That's one place I would not go to, to check that stuff. I am just totally repulsed. Oh. Let me finish with uh, this video with this stuff here. I, <laughs> if I uh, if I waited for to become a billionaire, uh, <laughs> if I waited to become a billionaire, uh, it's like the expression they say walk into the night quietly walk into the night basically you know it's like a little dot that slowly disappears from the picture forever and nobody knows anything about where it came from and where it went that's one thing you are never gonna get right because I did reveal the world, the truth behind you, myself, those who participated, know the whole thing about you and I, about us, who was, is, what is, and who to whom is what is. And under no circumstances would anybody, even that in Poland, I already protested against your violence, and they still delivered me to the Britain. They still hijack me to this mental, mentally ill people in Britain, to this royals, to this garbage. They still hijack me from Poland in 2018, 2019, 2020, and not on one, but on many occasions. That I, every occasion I disappeared, that they had me again delivered to this garbage from London on every, every occasion. Why? Why would you want me when I don't want you, when I, you're making me ill just for me to see you on the internet? You're making me sick. Your smile, I didn't finish earlier, I started. It, it's not about your being fake in a sense of portraying yourself like you know, the cancer to you is not a big deal. When we all know that you had a full pants, or your family, or your daughter had a full pants of shit. What it sucks about your smile, actually, is that you're portraying yourself like a positive person, like you are somebody, like you are something, like you are, you know, like you represent some kind of value in this world. When in reality, when it comes to my case, I'm just going to highlight this here. There is nothing for me to say. Nothing else for me to say about it. This was recorded on January 21st, 2024.